Hey guys, I want to go ahead and do a couple more problems uh, with differential equations, FRQ, just to get you guys ready for the AP exam uh, before we go on to the other type of question. Okay, this is, uh, this is an old one from 2013, but it's still good practice. And as long as you understand what they're asking you, uh, you'll be able to do well or get as many points as possible. Um, so they consider the differential equation, dy dx, e to the y times 3x squared minus 6x, and f of x is a particular solution to the differential equation that passes through one zero. That's our initial condition. Write an equation for the line tangent to the graph at one zero and use the tangent line to approximate 1.2. So remember, as soon as we see this, write the equation of the tangent line. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Go ahead and put your initial condition. Okay, when x is 1, y is 0, we don't know our slope yet, alright, so now how do we find our slope, we're going to use this guy right here, our initial condition is 1, 0, so just plug that guy in, so let's see here, dy dx, okay, uh, at 1, comma 0, that's going to be e to the 0 times 3, 1 squared, minus 6 times 1, okay, and then just go ahead and do the math. So this would give me 3 times 1 minus 6. e to the 0 is 1. So this would give me 3 minus 6. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So dy dx is equal to negative 3. All right. And that would be it, guys. And if you did this correctly, um, actually, this would give you the two points. We need one more. we get got to find 1.2, right? So, y equals negative 3, 1.2 is there, and negative 3, 1.2 minus 1 is 0.2, so y is equal to 0 0.6, negative, and that's it guys. So that would give you 3 points, <clears throat> and believe it or not, this last part, part B, would give you 6 points. Okay, it says find the particular solution to the differential equation that passes through 1, 0. So the particular solution, notice that, okay? So what do I have to do? I have to solve this guy, split them apart, and do my antiderivative. So dy dx is equal to e to the y times 3x squared minus 6x, okay? Remember, you want to split them up, all right? You want to split them up. So this guy's going to go here with the y, the dx is going to go up here. So you're going to get dy over e to the y. And then you're going to get 3x squared minus 6x times dx, okay? We're going to do our, our antiderivative, okay? Now, be careful with this when it's e to the y on the bottom, right? So bring them up to the top so it becomes a negative, okay? Now, we haven't done anything yet, so be careful, okay? We're just uh, setting it up. Now, I can go ahead and do the antiderivative here. And I'll always go ahead and do this, the easy part because... It kind of gets things rolling, and it'll help you if you kind of get lost. So 3x squared, the antiderivative, you add 1, becomes x cubed. I'll just do it the long way. 3x cubed over 3 minus 6x squared over 2 plus the constant c. And this guy, okay, this guy becomes x cubed minus 3x squared plus c. All right, well, so now what about this guy? What's the antiderivative, okay, of e to the negative y? Well, if you want, you can do u substitution. Let u equal uh, negative y. du is equal to negative 1 dy, okay? So you can negative du is going to equal to dy. So e, this guy, is going to go to the u power dy is equal to negative du, so let's put that negative outside, put the du, and remember the antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u, so you're going to end up with negative e to the u power, which is the same thing as negative y, and that equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus c, okay? Now I did it the long way just so you guys can see how we do it, but just think about it, the antiderivative of e to the anything is the same thing. Um, and you have to, because this is kind of like a, a composite function, okay, a function inside a function. And so you usually take the derivative of this guy, 
okay but instead of multiplying you're actually dividing and that's how we get that negative all right but you can also do it the long way uh, remember just take your time don't feel rushed um, and then go from here we want to go ahead and find c try to find c as soon as you can that way you just kind of get rid of it so we want to use the point one comma zero okay when x is one y is zero so we can negative e to the negative zero now zero is neither negative or positive so that should just be zero so let me write it negative e to the zero and then x is one so we get one cubed minus three times one squared plus c do some mental math you get one minus three is negative two plus c and now be careful here it's not zero e e to the zero is one so this becomes negative one okay not positive one negative one okay and then just go ahead and continue and let's see here c is going to equal to positive one okay so that means let's go ahead and put this guy back together that guy's going to go in here so we're going to get negative e to the negative y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. Now we have to solve it for y. So I'm going to divide everything by negative. So we get e to the negative y is equal to negative x cubed. The negative 3 becomes a positive, and then the positive becomes a negative. Good. Now we got to exponentiate. Okay, take the ln on both sides to get rid of that guy, or take the log on both sides. So log of e um, is going to simplify it out. So we're going to get negative y equals ln of negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. Last thing I got to do is just bring that negative across. Okay. y equals negative. Okay ln x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. Alright. And that's it, guys. So, hopefully that makes some sense. And um, the more you do these, the better you'll get. Alright, guys.